I apologize for the um, air on my YouTube. I actually, for loops and iterators and Ruby, uploaded an, a different video than what it's supposed to be. And unfortunately, I don't remember <laughs> where the file is or if I deleted it. So we're just going to go ahead and work our way through here. So um, I'm a little bit rusty with Ruby. I, I uh, ended up getting an internship and uh, I'm doing that about full time during the summer. So I haven't been messing with Ruby because they mainly use HTML, CSS, and PHP for the WordPress. Uh, so, but uh, luckily, since we've already done this section, I do have the code that worked for it. So we're going to be able to take a look at it and then redo it. So um, I'll be resetting the code as we go in here. So we're in the loops and iterator section. So let's see here. Uh, all right, so this is uh, what the while loop is. So pretty standard while counter is less than 11. Print the counter and then set the counter in the end the while loop. OK? So cool. So in this case, one, 1 to 10. All right, so let's start our next lesson. And printer. All right, so the while loop in letter is currently an infinite loop correct it so it will be an end so in this case let's see here so uh, when we start off we have wall i is less than 5 it prints i however it never actually adds i so it's just i is going to be 0 and so it's going to continually be uh, be 0 and the, it'll be an infinite loop so what we're going to say is i plus 1 I don't remember if there's a semicolon at the end of this. Um, so, and then we get 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the until loop, so we're going to reset the code. Um, on line 2, fill in the blank so that the loop breaks when the counter is greater than 10. So we look at our uh, code here. Uh, when it's greater than 10, Uh, let's see, double equals looks like that will work, and then we can say counter is equal to counter plus one. I know they have plus equals, I just personally like counter plus one, um, just because it's more visual for me, anyhow. So it doesn't put numbers once to send to the console. Okay, uh, so we do it like this, change it to 11, that's my fault. So, we could have also done uh, less than or equal to 10, or uh, greater than than equal to 10, so that would work as well. So, and more, let's see, in here, we are asking the loop for the first exercise is in that I rewrite it using the appropriate assignment operator. So in this case, they want us to use the plus equals. So plus equals one. So what this is saying is that its counter is equal to counter plus incrementing it by one. There we go. Take a look at example or loop in the editor. So for num and one to ten, one to ten, print the number. Okay. Seems pretty pretty standard. So um, make it print numbers 1 to 15, including 15. Change the dot dot into three dots. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, we have dot dot dot, 1 to 15. And you can see that when we change it to three dots, it only goes 1 to 14, not including, while two dots include. One second, I'll close it off. All right, uh, girlfriend's sleeping on the bed, so I apologize if uh, I'm speaking a little uh, on the quiet end. Okay, so in this, it's asking us to build our own, own for loop using either the dot dot or the triple dot syntax. So we want to go up to 20. So there's two ways we can do this. The, the standard way would probably be to include it. So we're going to say for num in one dot 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 to 20. Um, put puts num and and then uh, that should work. So we get one. So we start out one, go all the way to twenty. Um, we also 
just for the sake of argument, let's reset the code. Could have done it like this. For num and one dot 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 twenty one puts num end. And what's that saying is same thing. You get the same result. We increase it by one here so that uh, we get our valued results. Uh, I find the other one a little more intuitive personally. Okay, so let's see here. Replace the underscore the other with the appropriate keywords. So let's, what are we trying to do here? Uh, so in here we're setting i is equal to 20. Uh, we want to use the loop do method. We're going to set I, decrement i by 1, print out the number i. So this in itself will allow us to use our a print statement with that. And then break it if i is less than or equal to 0. So that should do just fine. So you see it goes 19, 18, 17, 16. So um, this way it doesn't drop a line each time. Um, one, one of the weird things about Ruby is how, how many different ways you can write the same loop. So um, I don't know how it's helpful, but I'm sure I'm sure they have their reasons. All right. So here in next, we're going to add a line to your loop for your print statement. Use the next keyword so that you skip to the next iteration of the number i that is odd. So um, next if. All right, so let's see here. We have loop do. Uh, and we're going to skip the odd numbers. Sorry. OK, so um, next if i modulo 2 is equal to 0 says, I'm not sure if next if skips it or does it. Let me see here. All right, so we want to set that equal to one because I believe we want the even numbers. Okay, so next if is saying when the next one in line is even, we want to print it out. Uh, I modulo two means there's a remainder, so it's an odd number, and then if that's the case, we want to print it out. If I understand it correctly. Well, let's see. If it's odd skip it. Yeah, so if it's odd, skip it. Else, print it. Okay, so that's, that's how you look at it. Because you see right here, we're going uh, backwards by 2. So 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. So, cool. Alright, so uh, we're going to create an array called uh, my array. And if I remember correctly, I did just see it for second. I believe that's how you set up an array in Ruby. Okay. So let's go to reset that code. Oh, nothing reset. Alright, so here we are using the dot each operator. So we're saying for each value in the array do x, where x is equal to 10. So if I understand this correctly, we're going to have one line that prints 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh no, it adds 10. It's plus or equals to 10. Okay. So let's see, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So in this case, it's going to add 10 to each of them. Each do x, or x is equal to x being the variable is equal to that plus 10. Okay. So, um, uh, I got a little confused there because before we're actually using the same x, like if you were to do the counter, but in this case we're taking a new x, being 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, and being able to add them and print them out. So it's not, it wouldn't be 11, then 12, plus 11, 23, and so on and so forth. Let's see here. In this case, I use the dot each, 
method on the odds array to print out the value of each item in the array. In other words, multiply each item by 2. So let's see here, we have odds dot odds dot each, and in this case, we wanted to do some stuff. So we're going to say item. One way to loop, another way to I like to do item better, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to say odds dot each do uh, value. I just like the word value or whatever. Now we're going to put value. And then we have to end our for loop. And that should on some each do. Let's see here. One, three, five, seven, six, nine. Alright. Print out double the value. Okay. Um, so two times value. And it wants us to use print. There we go. So we get our 2, our 6, our 10, our 14, and our 18. All right. Use the dot times operator to print out a string of your choice any number of times you like. So let's see here. We have, uh, we'll just, oops, excuse me. Let's just do uh, 10 dot times. Um, can't really get it to print out. I'll print three do Ruby. So that's what we're doing. Three do. I'm not even sure if there's a dash in that to be honest. Redo Ruby, redo Ruby, redo Ruby. Probably should have put a space on that if we're gonna do it ten times. And we'll undo that. Use a while loop to print out the numbers one through fifty inclusively, meaning to include it. I believe. To X, yeah, because X explicitly would be not to include it. While the example of counts down, you'll want to count your way up. Alright, so simple enough. Uh, I don't know why that's there. Maybe from previous, previously me doing. Alright, so while I is less than or equal to 50 because we want it is we want it to include 50 do print and remember we do it like this I we'll put a space at the end so it's a little easier to read and then we're gonna say I is equal to I plus one and I believe end and that should work Try this. Oh, maybe because eyes. Let's see here. I guess we can just print it like that. I guess. I was trying to use the previous example, but apparently this works. Oh, we forgot to set i also. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll set i is equal to one. Now we should get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, yep, it goes all the way to 50. You can see at the end here. Not too, too bad. So let's reset the code here. Now rewrite your while loop using until. So we have i is equal to that. And we'll say instead, just swap it out until i is equal to 50. Do this. Let's see here. Try less than or equal to. Will that still work? Yeah, I know. Um, until it needs to be exact. That's what I thought. So until. Oops, the back keeps on sending me uh, back a page sometimes. All right, so until i is equal to 51, so we have to increase it by one because we want it to print out 50. So do this until you i hits 51, and when it hits 51, don't do it. That's why it has to be by one more. So there we go. Reset this. 
Now print out the numbers from 1 to 50 inclusively using a for loop instead of an until loop. Alright, so we'll just do like this for i. I'm gonna get rid of our i here, because in for loop uh it already it already kinda creates it. You can think of it for i n. And remember one dot dot includes uh print i and I believe we can yeah, for loop also increments by one unless otherwise stated. So bam, there we go. And then we get and this, this is just the 1 to 50 it prints out for whatever reason. I think it's just part of the IDE. So let's go and reset that. I use the loop iterator to do so. Um, in this case, so we'll set i is equal to 0. And then we'll say loop do. And then we'll just say i or print or print ruby as exclamation point. And then we're going to also say um, I I guess sorry about the interruption there. Um, so let's go ahead and reset our code here. We're going to use the loop do iterator. So in this case, we need to actually set a, uh, a counter. So in this case, we'll just use I. We'll say loop do. We'll increment. We'll print it. I guess we could because uh, we want it to run 30 times. So I it does. It, there's a couple ways you could do it, but they're all going to really result the same. We'll do it a little different just for the sake of it. We'll do Ruby exclamation point print it out and then let's see here make sure to type the string exactly as shown Ruby exclamation point and then um, break if I is equal to, equal to 30 and if I remember correctly uh, I equals my, my plus one. if I remember correctly what's gonna happen is uh, it'll print out 30 and then it'll break the loop so um, and, and it may be printing out 31. We'll see right here uh, in, a, in a second. I may have to put the I in front of it. Let's see, um, yeah, I think we will actually. Um, could be wrong. So there we go. So it prints out 30. Um, just for the sake of argument, let's see what would have happened if we did it the other way. I believe we would get it. Oh, no, I guess it works out either way. Um, I thought it might print out one too many times. Uh, I think if we counted here, we'd actually see that it printed out one too many. Um, but I'm not going to do that. All right, and then in this case, we're going to use the times iterator. So uh, if I remember uh, to print it out 30 times, so it's 30 dot times, and then we'll use that to. Oh, sorry, I got League of Legends going on in the background, guys. Uh, print. 30 dot times. Let's reset the code. Yeah, 30 dot times print. Really? Is that right? Oh, I messed up here. I forgot how to do the time. 30 dot times. So, in this case, let's just go. Let's look at our dot times. Sarah. It's not that complicated though. The dot times iterator. So we'll go back here. Okay, so we just needed that and that should work now. Oh, wrong one. So go back to or 20 or 18. 30 dot times and we have to put it in our brackets here. Thought that might have been what it needed to be. 